Hello, I'm Anthony Romrell. Welcome to CG for Me. So I'm going to work on this pig. I'm going to take uh, this animation and I'm going to double it so that I have double the walk cycle. And then I'm going to have him pause and look at something and uh, pick something up. So I'm going to change my frame here to, let's say, uh, 48. And I'm going to select all my keys. And I'm just to make sure that all my keys, everything has been keyed. So I'm going to hit S and key every one of my frames to make sure all of my controls have been keyed. Then I'm going to go to my graph editor and hit A. And I'm going to select all my frames up to frame 25. I'm going to hit copy and then on frame 25 I'm going to hit I'm going to go, hover over frame 25 and just hit paste and play through it. And it looks like everything's working. So now what I'm going to do is going to work on some new poses. So right about here is where I'm going to stop the walk cycle and I'm going to give myself some more frames, say uh, 30 more frames, and I'm going to have him walk. So I'm going to build out a contact position on let's say frame 54 of him stopping. So I'm going to zero all of my controls out, put in a neutral pose, and just pose him to look down an object. Let's say there's something on the floor here. So I'm going to drop his shoulders. And uh, maybe rotate his back just a bit. You can have this kind of curious look on his face. Maybe I'll roll the shoulder back up. Give him a bit of a puzzled look. And I'll key it. And I'll see what it looks like. Now he needs to go up so he's not penetrating the ground. Key that. So he's going to make a stop. Now what I want to do is an interesting pose from here to here. So maybe he could do a take. So I could, I could have him look, start to look sooner before he slows down. So he's walking along and maybe I'll have him look down at this object before he stops. So I'll have him start to bend. I'll work straight ahead. And then maybe I'll reverse his head, give him a bit of a puzzled look. So he's walking along and he looks down and he goes to stop. I'll play through, see what it looks like. Walking along, stops, does a little bit of a take. So I could, I could enhance the take by having him look even sooner. So I'll go through the walk here and I could have him maybe glance down on 16, hold it on 18, look back up again, let's see what it looks like. Looks down, oh that's pretty fast so I better have him hold it a little longer. Maybe holds it on 22, 24. And let's have him hold it just a little longer. 26 and 28, he looks away. Looks down. Takes another look. Maybe to emphasize the fact that he's looking down sooner, I'll have him look away on 2 and 4 and 6 and 10. Maybe he's looking this way as he's walking.
Now what I want to do is, because I'm doing so much motion here, I actually want to get rid of some of the motion in this area. And I'm a little bit jerky on my keys, so I'll maybe do a little bit of easing. I would say right here we're just going to stabilize the head right in here. So let's just get rid of these keys. Stabilize the head. And that didn't stabilize much of anything, did it? So just deleting the keys isn't enough. In fact, it'd probably be better if I just moved these and flattened them out. So it ends similar to the beginning. And let's try that with these keys here. In fact, let's zoom in by hitting F. What I really want is for that head to hold right here. I like its position here, and I like its position there, but it's just not holding for me. So I'm going to go and add just one more key and see what that graph looks like. And that's what Maya wants me to do. So I'm going to hold it just a little longer. Right like that. So he's looking around, looks down, looks back up, takes another take. Now the head's still head's still shaky in here. Let's watch the keys. Doing too much back and forth right in here. So I'm going to clean up these keys just a little more. That's coming back. I don't want it to. So I'm going to keep this and uh, flatten these two. Flatten these. And just change my interpolation a little bit more. And here's a few little things I could correct that some of these are broken. Some of these aren't necessary, just, just a little bit of cleanup. So he's looking this way. Let's have him hold that look a little longer. Say about to there. And hold that look a little longer. Now, I just need to work out this little bump. I have it comes in, pulls back a little too fast here. I need to figure out what that is. And it looks like it's just a rotation value on Y. So this is my Y value. So if I want it to hold a little longer, and the bump comes in right about here. So I'll flatten these out. And what's really happening, and this is good to work this out, I just deleted those keys, but what's really happening is I have a, my pelvis movement, it's actually moving that head, and I, what I need to do is a little bit more counter animation. So my pelvis is rotating which is rotating the head, which you think is staying stable. 
So what I need to do is counter animate that head. So if I want the head to stay here, I'm going to have to do a little bit more counter animation right here. So I'll need to do my best guess on it. So there, now it's holding longer. That's fixing the problem. And I still want him to hold a little bit longer here. So I'm gonna hold from 24, let's go with 28. It's gonna hold that look down on frame 28. Get rid of our hiccup here. Well, maybe I need that little hiccup. Now let's emphasize when he looks away that he's look he's really looking away. So from frame 35, let's go with frame 40 and have him really look away. Have him hold it on 43. Hold it one more on 48. Then he's going to look back. Okay, so I like that. It's good enough for now. You can always come back and make some adjustments. And I'm going to come back and work on a pass.